Welcome to Second Take, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. The Department of Trade and Industry this week hosted a black industrialist in Daba in support of its aim to create more than 100 black industrialists within three years. Natasha Wendell tells us more. Hi, Natasha. Hi. The DTI is pushing ahead with its plans to uplift black industrialists. What is it doing in this regard? Well, at the moment it's busy with consultations, or it had been busy with consultations with black in or emerging black industrialists. Um, what they're trying to do, as you said, was create 100 black industrialists within three years. But historically, black industrialists have, have had a bit of problems getting off the ground. Um, so they've put in place, or they're proposing some measures to actually help black industrialists get off the ground, become sustainable, and actually play a meaningful part in our society, in the economy. Um, historically, BEE hasn't quite achieved some of the aims that the department has wanted. It's resulted in um, more surface benefits um, for a few, a few of the black industrialists and black entrepreneurs of South Africa. And now they actually want to make sure that uh, the emerging and existing um, black industrialists actually have a ownership that they manage it and they create um, uh, businesses in South Africa to actually contribute more effectively, more productively in society. Um, to that end, they've they proposed a black industrialist program and now they're, that was in August last year and now they're actually busy creating a policy of sorts that's going to go to cabinet that outlines a few you know, just hands up, if you want to call it, um, to help the black industrialists get on their feet. What does the policy propose? Well, first off, they're very big on the skills development um, of our black industrialists. They want to ensure that when they do start running their businesses, managing the businesses, um, and, and playing a part in public procurement, for instance, that they are equipped to do so, that they have the financial skills, that they have the management skills, that they have the technical skills needed to pull it off. So they're working with universities and technical colleges to try and put forth an, a concept, um, t a platform, could we say, uh, to get them actually learning and entrenching the skills and the know-how needed. The DTI has also said that they're going to set aside one billion rand um, to offer up as grants and incentives exclusively for black industrialists just to uh, much in the same way that they offer the big businesses that create jobs in South Africa incentives, it's going to apply exclusively for, for black industrialists. And in addition to that, they want to try and create um, more effective incubation for black industrialists um, so that they can learn to work, uh, operate under a protected environment until they're actually sustainable and then they're able to operate on their own outside of incubation. The DTI has also talked to a number of the development financial institutions, um, trying to get them to align their loan platforms um, to the development um, of the policy and the development of black industrialists, um, making it easier for them to actually get a loan um, with less stringent conditions attached and lower interest. Um, apparently, it seems that they have actually achieved this and that um, the banks will pull together, um, offer up a new institution of sorts, and then actually exclusively, once again, to black industrialists, offer them loans to try and get them started. In addition to that, the state would also, um, they're also looking at their procurement policies um, regarding procuring services from black industrialists. They actually want to review it and have a look at how it could be more effective um, maybe putting through some set-asides um, and exclusively ring-fencing to black industrialists certain aspects of their procurement, of state procurement. The DTI was also looking at um, some ex export support measures, um, trying to enable export readiness, um, boost the standard and quality of our products, um, trying to get it out there, enable a more easier access to market for the black industrialists and also enable some delivery mechanisms that they could leverage on their path towards sustainability. What are the department's plans for the implementation of this policy? Well, at the moment, um, the DG, DTI, DG, Lionel October said that they're busy formulating the policy. The Indaba was meant 
to gain input from black industrialists and other stakeholders to formulate a policy that could guide them forward in actually rolling out their black industrialist program. Um, the DG wants it done within a month. He wants to have it, the policy finalized and brought forward before cabinet within a month's time and thereafter approval in uh, implement immediately. But for that to happen, they obviously need to set up some bodies. Um, they need to set up a committee to try and run it forward. They need to assure that all the stakeholders are aligned to the program uh, so that once the policy is approved, the program can go ahead seamlessly. Um, they, ha they haven't given themselves much time. I mean, they've given themselves three years to get 100 black industrialists up and running. Um, and then they would need to obviously ensure that the skills development programs are in place already, the incentives are in place already, which they're all working on at the moment. And they also said that they want to embark on national roadshows just to inform black industrialists in other regions of South Africa, including rural, about the program and how they can benefit and how they can participate, um, how they could qualify for incentives for skills training, um, and generally the whole program. Thank you. That's the second Tech Show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis.